Hi, Teacher Rachel here. Today we're going to talk about a uh and an. In English, we see this word a lot. A. Uh, a frog. A cake. A car. A boy. A girl. Why? What does it mean? The word a uh, or a means one. That's it. One. A car. One car. A dog. One dog. And when do we use the word an? A n? Before nouns that start with a vowel sound like apple, an apple. Orange, an orange. Elephant, an elephant. An and a uh mean the same thing. What do they mean? One. Today my student asked me, why can't I say there is a one cake? Do you know why she can't say that? That's right, because a uh means one. So it's like saying there is one one cake. We don't need to say that. It doesn't make sense. It's confusing. One important thing. We use a uh or an almost always only before nouns. What is a noun? A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. A country. That's a place. A king. That's a person. A rocket. That's a thing. A rocket. A king. A rainbow. A flower. An ant. Now remember, sometimes we have nouns that are plural. That means more than one. Like shoes, pants, pajamas. You see how they end in S? S at the end of a noun usually means more than one. So do we still use a or an? No way, Jose! So we can't say this is a pants. No, we say these are pants. No A. These are apples. This is an apple. These are apples. Why did we get rid of an? Because now we have more than one apple. These are apples. These are pajamas. So, to wrap it up, we use the word a or an before nouns that are singular. That means there are only one. A hat. An octopus. A rabbit. So, think of a list of your own nouns and try to figure out if they're singular or plural and whether you put a or an in front of them. My head is backwards. Oh, how embarrassing. All right. I hope that was helpful. See you next time.